You ready? I don't know what we're saying. Okay, but are you good? Yeah. Hey everybody, my name is Ryan and I am the King of Booty Fab. And uh, for those of you that don't know, this is my wonderful, beautiful assistant and daughter Jade. Hi. And uh, today we are doing a run through on making some steel roses. And now, this is a class that I'm going to be teaching to the school, to some of the community members coming up pretty soon. We wanted to do a dry run, exactly how long it takes to actually put this together so that we can have a timeline. Um, plus, we're not going to film the classes that I'm doing for pretty obvious reasons. But this was the whole purpose for building these stumps that we were building. Um, obviously, I could have gotten away with just the one for me, but for everybody, we needed more. So we're going to do this, we're going to take you through the whole process, show you what I have going on, how we make these happen. Now I've made a lot of different flowers over the years. I generally don't share all of my designs because roses, I think everybody seems to make. I see them all over the internet. Yeah. There's so many um, different kinds of ways. But the rest of the flowers that I make are my original designs, so I just generally don't share those. But, uh. I'll show you what we got going on, how this class is going to go, all the good stuff. Um, if you haven't yet, do me a favor, subscribe to the channel, like the video, drop a comment, do the whole YouTube thing, voice along to your father. You know, I love you guys' interaction. <laughs> yeah, honestly, we're having a blast. So, uh, you get at it? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Jade wants to make sure that we introduce Blue. This is her dog. This is my dog. <laughs> <laughs> He's hanging out with us today. Okay, so originally I used to, I've cut these out by hand. Originally I used to cut them as individual pieces. Um, individual pieces on a plasma table would fall through, make a mess of them. They'd be covered in slag. They were horrible to clean up. These are actually pretty minimal. And if I had a tumbler, it'd be so much easier. <laughs> Uh, a tumbler is like a drum that rotates with little paddles inside of it and you put abrasive cubes or pyramid things in there and then when it tumbles all the grit sands it down and gives it like a uniform finish. Oh, like the rock tumblers. Like a rock tumbler but bigger. For, yeah. See, you know. this is what you have to do. You have to explain what things are. This is why you're here. Exactly. So, <laughs> a while back I actually re-nested them. In this case we have Two complete roses on this sheet. Um, without the stem. Without the stem. The stem, we just use 3 16 mild steel. You see that? Um, I got lots of it kicking around. Um, basically, I go at this with a grinder. These are only held in at a couple of spots. Like this one, I think there's one, two, three spots it's held on. We clean these, or we cut them out. Grind down the edges. In the class, we're going to have the kids file the edges before we start forming them. So Jade's going to go through that process. The idea here is that other than the grinder and the welder, all the hands-on work, it's going to be her. Yeah. She's the star of the show today. Thank so you. So I'm going to... Well, aren't I always the star? Yes, absolutely, <laughs> sweetheart. I'm going to go to the garage. I'm going to cut some pieces out. And uh, I'm going to... You guys don't need to see me flapper these. Everybody knows how to use a grinder. Or if they sure? don't, if they don't, they shouldn't be using one. They should ask their <laughs> mom and dad to help. Um, so I'm going to cut out an entire row's worth. I'm going to clean up the backs quick. And then uh, Jade is going to focus on getting these filed a little bit and uh, getting them all shaped so we can put it together. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, move some stuff out of the way here. What we got... As all these pieces are all cleaned up, I just took a flapper wheel to them once they were cut out. But, I'll show you. Let's see, let's find a good example. There's some spots, like up along here. I don't know if you can see that. See that? Right here. Where it's imperfect, it's marks from the plasma, it's left over from where I cut it out of the spot. So, the next step is we've got files with a handle on them, so 
I got a rat tail file now. Flat file is good for outside curves like this one here. They work here. It doesn't work in here because on an inside curve, you can't use it. So you can use a half round like this, rat tail like this, it's round, and go at the edges. So since with the kids we're focused on safety, she's got a pair of my gloves. We have... So we're not holding it? Vice grips. I can't hold it with my hands. You can hold it with your hands with the gloves if you want, but we got vice grips if you're not feeling it. Yeah. Or, nice thing about the stumps is the way I got them set up. We can also vice grip stuff onto here, give you an extra hand. We have options. I can hold it. You can hold it because you've done this before. This is not your first rodeo. And some, uh, what is this? 150. 150 grit sandpaper. Just to go at the edges a little bit, knock down some of the burrs, do all that stuff. Um, the whole point is to get the kids involved as much as possible. So I did the power tool stuff. Jade is going to do the rest. Mm -hmm. Now, Jade is decked out in the ultimate of Princess of Booty Fab gear. They she, got swirls on the side. Yeah, she bejeweled her glasses. They're still safe. Uh, she's wearing my gloves because I actually couldn't find any gloves smaller. So, you know, my triple XL hand and her small to medium one. But at least she's safe. And uh, she's just going to knock off all the high points here. And doesn't have to go over the whole thing. But she's just kind of keeping an eye out for imperfect stuff. Um, like this here, this is one of the things I was talking about. You can see that spot here. Since that's an outside curve, she could use the flat side of the file. Just work away on it. You know, she can brace it down into here. You know, she can brace it into the wood. Whatever, whatever works for her. The nice thing is, is that she's got safety gear on. She can kind of do what works for her. She gets to see that the metal's moving. But, uh, yeah. She's going to go with this for a little while. Okay, if you're dragging it across, you see how the lines on the file go this way? I'm going to try not to follow the lines on the file. It's not so bad because these ones go both ways. But, you see how, like, normally you want to go against the grain of the file, right? Not so much of a big deal on these, but some it really is. And if you want, like, we can always put that down there. And, oh, you got it. You know what you're doing. <laughs> oh my lash just got caught on my safety glass. Mm. Hear that? Eyelashes are unsafe. No one said that. <laughs> Who said that? <laughs> okay, I like that one. Yeah. I'm done this one. Okay, what do you need? Another one. Putting them on the edge this so you can get so them. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. That's. It's kind of like. I think that's what I'm here for today. It's kind of hilarious. This one's gonna be so annoying. That one's probably easier with the file. Which file? Okay. Take the handle off here. Always handle. So it doesn't jab into me. Yeah. So like on this inside curve here, see if we're gonna do this curve right here. Yeah. It's easier if you put it on the edge like this. How many times have I hit my head on your shell? I don't know. See? 
it worked that curve out. Whoa. It's got a little bit of a burr on the back, but... I can see the bedazzle of my thing. Yep. See, that knocked that burr off, and then this one here, you could... Probably. Can I just use the rat tail? Yeah, you could use the rat tail. The closer it is to support it, so when it's hanging way off like this, you run the file, it flexes the metal. The closer this is to support it, so if you're holding it here, so that that's just barely hanging off, that's going to be the most effective. <laughs> How'd you do it so elegant? Because I'm holding like that and I'm not covering it up with my hand. I got... See? I got six fingers! I know, that's why I'm helping. Right? Yeah. That's why I was saying too, if it's a problem, we can clamp it down to that piece on the front of the stump. Must let me stop that. Yeah. I'm getting it around the edge of this stump. Oh yeah. So well that's why it's got all the shapes on it, right? You've got curves here. You've got curves here. Use it take advantage of everything, right? take that and hold it right there right close we can push this down on the stump like this and then you can put your whole body weight on this and that way when you push the file across the hands aren't there see you want to try is that better said if it hangs off too far it'll it'll vibrate and it cuts down the ringing is actually that piece vibrating which means the metal's just back and forth really fast that's why you're getting that noise. how do your fingers fit in vice grips if this is how big your fingers are um magic you know because like i do i could barely put my fingers in there i like that one yeah, happy. Well, you finish this. I'm going to stop recording here because we might be at this for a little while. We figured the class is probably going to be three to four hours kind of deal spread across two or three days. Um, do you want me to stop so, while you're talking? No, when it's not no do your thing. So there's no need to watch all of this. It's basically the same process over and over again because uh, since they're each cleaning up their own, she's cleaning up her own. It's whatever makes her happy. She can leave it as rough. She could polish it. She could do whatever. Um, but she's going to do her thing and we'll come back when she's ready to start forming them. Really kind of making her do it the hard way. I even suggested we could throw it up in the vise, you know, just clamp it down. But uh, she's actually going to help me teach this class. And she said, we've only got one vise here. Well, I might have a little drill press one. 
And we got the anvil. And we got eight students coming. Yeah, we're going to do class size of eight at a time, pretty much. So I made sure we've got enough hammers, shaping stations, vice grips. We've got safety glasses and school's got gloves. We're pretty set up, but uh, she's kind of... That's part of the reason she's doing all the work. That way we know exactly how long it takes. I haven't done this since I was like, what, six or seven? Yeah, eight. Yeah, it's probably been eight years since you've done it. Nine years. But, uh, yeah. If the kids get stuck, or with the little kids, we can actually just throw it up in the vise or clamp it down to there. You know, trying to gauge this so everybody gets involved. That's part of the beauty of this project. We're now kids from like K to 12. We're gonna do a grown-up class I down the road. Laugh at them when they struggle. You know, if you want to laugh at them, you can. I just that's they'll, video evidence. They'll hold it against you for the rest of their lives, but that's on your soul, not that mine. Sucks. Actually, we really are promoting, promoting learning and happiness, and she's <laughs> she really does care. Yeah, I think it's so fun that we get to teach. Um, it's pretty cool, stuff right? That I learned when I was four. Yeah. These grade twelves learn <laughs> stuff. <when I'm... laughs> now a break for a message from our sponsor. Okay, so back in the day, I used to have a stump like this. It was on the ground, and I sat on a stool, and she sat on a stool, and the Did idea. Did I even need to? Hmm? Did I even need to? Uh, no, you were short. Uh, yeah. So the idea is to pre-shape these. So we've got bowls and there's ridges and we've got the edges of the stump. I've got an anvil back here. There's a whole lot of ways. This is such a beautiful project for kids. Now, back in the day or when I'm doing them, I tend to hold them. She learned to hold them. Um, this is much safer. This is how we're going to have the kids do them. Is uh, basically... Nice. Grab them like this. That way they're not swinging by here. They're not holding on to the metal, which they should have all filed down. But metal's always sharp. And uh, we're really it's trying to... badly filed? Is no. that what you're... Okay. No, no, no. You're good. <laughs> the focus is on safety here. So we're really trying to make sure that everything we do, handles have files. She's always wearing gloves, safety glasses. She's wearing jeans. Um, My no hair's back. Hair's tied back. No open-toed shoes, stuff like that. Making sure the kids are safe. Out on the docks. Um, yep, yeah, cruising. Safety. Docks. But, Doc Martins. I mean, body hammers are great. Time. I know. I got a hammer too. The body hammers are great, but the ball peens do seriously good work with this stuff because rounded over, they're cheap, they're plentiful, they're durable. Kids can't mess these things up. And basically, the idea is to get a ball shape into here in each of the petals and pre-shape them. They're going to get more shaping once they're on the stem, but for now, Jade is literally going to grab these and hit and fold over stuff Bash. until she... By the time this is done, this thing should be shaped kind of like a bowl. It should be cupped. It's going to be all pushed in here. She's going to stretch all the metal and focus in the middle of the petal, which will curl everything up into the wood it's actually a super simple process it's a ton of fun for the little kids because it shows instantly and i mean who doesn't like to hit stuff with a hammer really <laughs> except for maybe him he just likes to watch he but. likes to smack his head into things though <laughs> so since jade is doing this project and she knows what she's doing i do you do you're gonna hit stuff with a hammer we just yeah. we went we just went through this were you not paying attention in class? She really doesn't know what she's doing. So, she is going to work on these. What we've got here is, this would be the very first layer. This would be the top middle petal. This would be the next one. Why it's a little bigger. This would be the next one. This would be the bottom one. Under that, we've got whatever the technical term is for this. This is like the leaves that roll down. And then these are the leaves that go onto the stem. So that's the components. Dave's going to work on shaping all of this. 
safe dog. <laughs> She's going to work on shaping all this. We're going to do some video here and we'll come back and show you in a minute. I'm an independent woman. <laughs> It'd probably help if you were standing up for this one, though. Here, I'll even move the camera. You need gloves. I need gloves, okay. Safety. I got gloves. I'll cover my hands. Okay. Okay. So. Those fit you? Oh, they're still not big enough. Okay, so. Yeah, you hit it right where it goes. I know, if you work in the middle. Just like body work on a car, really. Uh, Curls that up. We're just so ladylike. <laughs> you can see it here. I don't know if you can see that. It just it starts to create the bowl. We're stretching this in the middle here. And uh, the more hits you put in there, the more this levels out. But uh, literally... No, it's mine. It's that curl and it gives it a bunch of shape. This is a class that you're allowed to hit stuff. Like I this. know exactly. Here, gloves. Oh yeah. Safety third. Mm, I don't like it. This one needs to be curled up. Yeah. Well, that's. That's why it's yours. You gotta make it look however you want. Oh. That's okay. You can literally, these are soft, right? You can just. Hey! Push. You're moving all of them! Know, but I'm, okay. <laughs> Gee. Gee. Focus on the, getting the shape in the pedal itself because if you want this rolled up, you can literally grab it and force it up. So if you focus on getting the shape in here, right? If you bend these back and forth too much, they break. So Just you wanna... stop bending them. <laughs> sure, blame me. You kept bending them. Is that cute? Absolutely. You do it till you're happy with it. This is your world, baby girl. I want it to be like up a little bit. You know? Yeah. Like, I think I like it. I yeah. want the next one. We got more shape. We've got me? more shaping to do. There's more shaping to do once they're on the stem, too. Remember, this is just the primary shaping. Yeah. Right? So we so want I them like all it. to kind of be. Here, you can see. She did almost all of this. I did one pedal, kind of. You can see it's kind yeah, of bowl shaped, it it's mine. right? It's no longer flat. It's got three dimensions now. If you just folded this here, it'd still be kind of two dimensional. These would be all flat. These are all dished out. You don't want to go too crazy because the next step we have to stack them, and uh, yeah. So she's gonna focus on this. We'll probably let this camera run, and then we'll just speed it up so that she's like, uh, oh, that's right. Like Road the run. speedy guy that you didn't know who it was, like the Roadrunner, super fast. And, uh, you could just let me be smart. I could. 
I was about to say it, and then you had to interrupt with what I said earlier. She's gonna rock this out, and I'm gonna watch and supervise and make sure she's being extra safe. And uh, we'll be back in a minute. Awesome. Does it need to go more? Um, that one, like the middle one's gonna roll up pretty tight. So I'd say get some shape in these because these are all gonna have to roll in pretty good. Yeah. You know what I mean? So if you hit them along the middles of these, yeah. to cause the pedals to roll in, the other thing you can do is grab it with vice grips like this and literally roll in and if you grab a second pair of vice grips right it's okay well yeah but two pairs of vice grips makes it kind of easy and then you can roll them in like this because these ones have to roll up fairly tight so we want these ones to roll in because once they're on the stem and we fold everything up they're gonna this one's gonna suck in pretty tight that one's not as tight this one is almost open, right? This one is almost like, it ends up this big around in the middle, right? Make sense? What's up? Put that on there. Silver plate. There. What do you think now? That's doing pretty good. So like good. It. You happy with it? Yeah. Okay. Why don't we come back to this once you're done shaping things? Sound good? Yeah. And then for these, I have something I can show you on these if you want. Okay. So do that one and we'll come back and I'll show you something on that. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, that actually was... Hey y'all. So... It's me, my dad's back there. Um, so what I did, I didn't need help, I'm a pro. I actually curved every single one of them. So before there were like little flat pieces. Um, my dad pointed out that with like the petals that I could take a chisel and add like the little uh, uh, leaf veins. Veins. And I decided not to because it didn't feel like what I did as a kid. <laughs> so, um, so with these like... I'll just bowl them up. Uh, so, like, you know, you get the gist of it. Like, it's going to be, like, that, but, like, more, like, curled in, you know? 
<laughs> so I think now what's gonna happen is my dad is going to attack weld it for me. Yep. Um, cause I don't want to. That's okay. I'll try to weld it on. We uh, we're gonna grab a stem. I've got, like I said, I got three sixteenth rods. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna the first one we weld it in here, and then we're gonna work this center piece. We're gonna roll all these in, tighten this up quite a bit, and then one layer at a time we weld this on. We shape this, we get it all where we want it, and then the next layer, the next layer, and so on. Now, these, what I was telling, what she was saying, what I was telling her off camera, is before these are shaped, I've done a bunch. We've got the wood, lay them down flat, and we just grab a chisel and literally tap it up the middle, run a line up the middle, and then run lines out like this before we shape it. Um, Pedals have veins on them. Now, I got one or two around the house that I made anywhere from 8 to 20 years ago. Um, I didn't do a lot of them like that, but it does look pretty cool. Maybe I'll do one at some point and show it. Um, maybe during the class or something and come back and hoping to show everybody some of the results from the class, from the kids that are learning. But, um, yeah, it's... This is fully up to her expression, your expression, my expression, whoever's making them. It doesn't really matter how they come out. It's really, really difficult to make this look bad. Yeah. So uh, this I will mean, be I pretty was awesome. It at four years old. Exactly. You were making it at four years old. So natural born artist. I'm gonna break out the welder. We're gonna do some tack welds. So once this is welded, as I throw it on the floor, I can't. Look at what you've over. done. I know. I'm going to tack that on and then uh, we're going to come back. We'll show you each piece as we go and how they get adjusted. And Blue helped. Blue My dog helped. helped. He didn't get in the way. He was just such a sweetheart. <laughs> Y'all, I am sorry in advance. This video has, so far, I think I've burped like 20 times. I'm sorry. Totally forgot to hit record, but uh, the stumps are great. That was one of the advantages to having ledges on here. I might actually add a spot or two, but I think we're okay on these ones. But uh, just clamping the stem down, welding it on. Now, I should have gas up here for my little Chinese MIG, um, which I'll be able to use for the class. But right now, we got flux core. And, well, flux core is ugly. So, we just grabbed a bucket of water. We're going to cool this off so that she can sand that down. And then we're going to shape this. And then we can flip it upside down and I always tack the first one up top and uh, all the rest of them get tacked from the back side because we can't see the top. So cool it, clean it, shape it, weld it, repeat. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to tap each one in, mm -hmm. right? Yep. Kind of get, get them into a circle so they're overlapping. Yeah, but it helps flatter edge. The flat side will help you with this one. Okay. There you go. Oh, that's okay. She's stuck. It's okay. It's okay. It's wood. She's stuck. I might say we can grab some pliers. Get your fingers out of there. Safety you wanna, hazard. You want hear me? Hear me out. I might say maybe we even grab some pliers and. Roll this edge over a little bit, help it into shape. Like if you grab two pairs of vice grips, you can actually... Oh, vice grips. Or, well, we have vice grips. So vice okay. grips are a form. They're locking pliers. So if you grab it in the middle, and then we grab a second pair, and we can roll that edge in there, that'll help. Here, I'll give you, you want a hand? Or you... Yeah, I Okay, never so hand. we're going to... Sorry. It's okay. We're going to grab that there. Grab those ones. These ones are huge. Okay, then use these ones. Take those. And grab it there. Here? No, no, this pedal. Grab that. Grab your pinky. And roll it down. Keep going. There you go. Okay. Now. Which one did we do? We just did that one. Okay. Mm -hmm. I need to tighten this. Okay, I'm gonna put down the camera and I'll give you a hand here. I'm using my legs to hold it up. Give it a hand. 
Okay, where are we? So, if you're holding it like that, you can grab this one and literally. Did I mess it up? Hmm? Did I mess it up? No, look. Okay. Curled in. Right? Mm -hmm. And this one, we can do basically the same. Uh, it probably needs a little bit more to get in where it wants to be. But can I just hit it with the hammer? Yeah, absolutely. Just like smash that one in. Yep. Yeah. You want to get this one fairly tight. I usually get them so they're almost a ball. Exactly. You're getting it. See, it's coming to shape. But you want to get them so they're almost touching in the middle. Otherwise, the outer petals look kind of swollen. Hold on, hold on. I'll help you with this. Look, um, so if we go like this and hold that like that. Here. I got the stem here. Now tap that one. See? Flip. Oh, it's already down. Oh, we can do that. I guess. Oh, now you're just curling up here because we're on the pliers. Not doing bad there. You can tap these in a little more. Already. See, we're uh, let me just see out of the light. It's uh, it's looking pretty good. I I usually make them so that these are almost touching in the middle, just because shape of the flower. But Jade's gonna do her thing where she's happy. We can clamp the pedals again if you want to get that mm -hmm. to roll over more. It's okay, I got this. See? I got it. I don't know. You're killing it. You just gotta trust the process, bro. See? There we go. There's the second layer on. Focus! Focus! There we go. There's a second layer on. So, this one, I don't want to clamp upright because we want to put a tack or two on the bottom here. And then we want to fold these pedals up. As you can see, it's uh, starting to come together pretty quick. It doesn't take very long, that's for sure. But, uh, yeah. Stuff like this, generally, I just clamp that right like that. And uh, she's good to go. Let's push the bottom. We're meant. Shape before I start doing that. If we pinch that there. I signed the camera. Yeah. Okay. And grab that there. We can roll it quite a ways, right? And then yeah. same thing, grab the next one. <laughs> I can't. You're I'm such sorry. a lady today. I'm sorry. It's a soda. Yeah. See that look. one tasted like chocolate. See how much that curved? Yeah. And then this one, we can do the same thing. We can... that work? Yeah, and then I just bash it. Um, this one? Okay. Can you call that one? You want me to... You want me to you know, you, here. You're supposed to be doing all of this. You you curl it. But I'm not slay. Look at me go! Slay, slay. There you go. I'm going to bash it a little bit more. Now you can shape it down. It's okay, we're gonna help them in the class too. You're rusty. You're rustier. It's been almost half your life since you made one of these. I'm still better than most. Mm -hmm.
Can you curl that one? Yeah, I'll tell you what. If we grab these ones, check this out. And we clamp there. Hold that like this. Or I'll hold this. You hit there with a hammer. There you go. See what it did? No. See? There you go. Hold it right over. Oh you want to do God. this one too? You think that one looks bad? No, I'm asking if you want sure. to. Sure. Do you want it rolled over more? Or do you want to leave it? I want it rolled over more. Okay. I'll grab it here. Ow. I'm sorry. This is why I had to wear jeans. Okay. Do you want more shape on that or are you happy with that? I like it. You like that there? Name her Rebecca. That's Rebecca. Okay, so on to the next level. Okay, so Jade's got her rose. All shaped. I did it. She did it. She's super happy with it. But one of the things I like to do on these is curl these edges out. But you can't do it until they're all to this point. And literally, all we're doing, and vice grips work really well, is grabbing the very last little bit of the petal and rolling these out. The pedal kind of naturally wants to roll out at the edge of the vice grips here. And there's literally no Would science to this. Pliers work better? No, not necessarily. Not necessarily. See? Here, watch. See? You just, just like that. And look. See? Oh. Now it Hope you guys better. can see that. Rolled all this one out around this lip here. So now, Jade's going to give it a go. I'm going to hold it in this hand. And you can even take this stool if you want. I love this stool, thank okay. you. And you're going to grab the edge of the pl and you're going to roll them down. Hey y'all, I'm back. <laughs> it's me. Yeah. Why do you always use the fat pliers? Um, because you get a little more leverage. Yeah, but the little pliers... It makes it a little easier to roll them over. Yeah, little pliers is where uh, it's The at. jaws aren't wide enough. Yeah, it ends up right chewing now. them up a little bit. So you only want to grab like that much of the end, right? I did that, and I did that little little bit. So I'd say go there. There you go. Grab there. And you want to hold it pretty tight down here. You got it? And then just... Mm, I can't do it. Why? Because it just okay. keeps pulling yeah. the pedal. Well, you gotta crank it there. And just roll it out. See? Yeah. I can help you roll these. This one's a little tougher. Would you no, like some help? I'm the rock star. You are the rock star. It's right me. in the middle. Just give me a second. These pliers are bigger than my hand. I know. Right, right here? There. Oh, too deep. I can't see. You have fat right. fingers. Right there. Clamp it. Now roll it out. I gotta like put my thumb there. Did I do it? Yeah. Okay. You happy with it there? Yeah. Yeah? Happy with that? Look at it, y'all. Oh, there we go. Oh. That was the pliers. Don't worry. See? Got those edges all rolled up. So, what's next? I don't know. Um, this thing. Leaves on the bottom, so yeah. we'll slide that on the shaft onto the stem there. And you already got those pre-shaped earlier, so yeah. But I still I want to like roll, roll them inward. You can roll After. them in. I usually roll these tips down. That's exactly what yeah. I mean. Like do Perfect. a little circle. Okay. Well, I will fire up the Sparky machine. And I'll tell you what. Um, I already marked where I want my Jade's knees, already so marked. Just get those on. See right there. She's put Sharpie mark. Show us how those are gonna go. So we're gonna have leaves like that. And um, where's the other one? I don't know where the other one is. Oh, right there. 
way up there. Um, so that's actually ugly. She's okay. going to take the Sharpie and remark where she wants the leaves, and I'm going to tack them on, and then we can do some final shaping here. What we have so far is I put all of, I didn't put, my dad tack welded all of the petals on and we curled them down. We showed that, right? Mm -hmm. yep, yeah, we filmed everything so far. So we filmed um, everything up to now. Um, what he just did is tack welded the bottom part. I don't know what it's actually called. It's some kind of leaf. I yeah, it's it's like when you look at the rose and there's like that green part on the bottom of the red rose. And then um, I also I marked off where I'd like him to put my leaves. So what I am about to do is for these, I'm actually going to curl them downward. And I don't know for sure what I want to do with these. I'm thinking I kind of just want to give them like a little bit of like an outward thing, like bring this side down a tiny bit and this side. But I think that's what I want to do. So that's what we're going to do. Right? Because <laughs> it's my show now. <laughs> This has, like, straight up been a video of just me, mm -hmm. so it's my show right now. It absolutely is. <sighs> Fat fingers. So, um, yeah. Oh, okay. So. You got it. That's exactly what I do. I just want more last Oh, yeah. He didn't even have to teach me how to do it. <laughs> mm-hmm. I'm just next level. I was born for this. I was born ready. Just so y'all know. This is honestly like one of the easiest projects I think we've done on this channel. Probably. Like even the bead rolling is harder than this. These, these were specifically designed to be super simple to put together so you guys because... can help. And we, I, I probably made thousands of these. Yeah, I'm like, I used to make them when I was four. I'm not going to shut up about that because <laughs> I think it's hilarious. Mm -hmm. Like. You're right, you did. And I used to beg to do it too. So like, I'm like, dad, please let me help. Mm -hmm. But some things. Now you're going to help teach other people. Yeah, that's actually something that I'm really excited about. I get to teach people something that I enjoy doing. So, which, like, it's nice, you know, you know, you know, oh, heck, how do you live with fat fingers? <laughs> I can't do anything. These sausages keep getting in the way. <laughs> And I've only lived with them for like two hours. Ooh. Speaking of that, there's only been like two hours of us working. That's actually a pretty good time. Yeah. Um, yeah, you're making pretty good time. With the school, I think we have four hours. Yeah, we got around four it. hours over a couple of days for each class. Which... So it gives them plenty of time to do put as much detail into it as they want. Yeah. We can uh, we can let them loose on. I've got the anvil there, and we've got a vise, and we've got lots of stumps, and we've got tons of tools they can shape it with to their heart's content, um, and it'll end up however they want, just like you're doing. That's the beauty of this, is that this is one of those projects that it is absolutely impossible to make them all the same. Mm -hmm. What do you think? I think I like it. You done there? I definitely think I enjoy it. I, I like it. I approve. I think it's cute. Yeah. And I like that the stem isn't like insanely long. Because mm -hmm. like that is just adorable. It's perfect. Okay, I'm going to move the camera and we'll show it off. Oh, that looks pretty awesome. I know, because I did it. Yeah, I know. You had a pretty good teacher though. But I did it. That's yes, why it looks you did. so cool. I actually might Perfect. curl in these a little bit more, you know, like, because you see how this one goes, like, fully down? I might curl those ones yeah. to be, like, fully down, like that one. Do your thing. Okay. Okay, so, like we've said a few times, these are completely unique, individual projects. Now, this one, 
This is one I gave my wife oh, shortly after we met, about eight years, almost eight years ago. Um, as you can see, it's been living in a potted plant upstairs for most of its life, so it's rusty. Um, this one's got an extra layer of petals on the outside. That's why it's a little bit bigger, but I think I like them better when they're small like this and not quite so substantial. And honestly, I like how hers came out better than the one I did a lot of years ago. Um, this one's a little bit different because the leaves, I creased all the leaves on these. You can kind of see they were folded over and then worked out. Um, this one has spots of weld. I literally just went up and down the stem and put a nice hot tack weld and they kind of look like thorns except no wow. no pokey. You don't get stabbed by them. You, this hurts if you ram into it, you know, the points of the leaves. But this has been sitting in our house in plants for almost eight years and it looks like this. Um, it's such a fun project to work on, and I think she had fun. You have fun? Yeah. Yeah? Sorry, it's not very That's okay. And she made a beautiful rose. And that's the thing, like, I, I started making these a very long time ago. Um, I gave this to my wife on our first date. Um, this is one of the flowers that I've actually designed. I've got a whole bunch of them. And, uh, I sell them at markets and all kinds of fun stuff, and I haven't in a few years, but... It's uh, getting me excited to do them again. I kind of miss doing this. Now my shop is completely set up to do it. Um, so the stumps that are in these videos, I put up part one of the building of the stumps before. And obviously part two is not up yet. And the reason is my stump, which is the great big one that's off camera on the side here, is not quite done. I was going to finish up the stump videos and then put that up and then do the flowers, but we wanted to do a dry run of the flowers with Jade, or yeah. of the rose, and I want to post the video so that it can get passed along to her teacher, the other teachers, there's some other people interested, and we wanted to pass along the video because I'm out of town for most of this week, so my stump is going to have to wait until I'm back in a week and didn't want to wait a week to do this video. So you're getting this one now. I'll kind of show you a sneak peek of the stumps that are sitting behind us here as I roll the invisible credits at the end of this. So, uh, did they not pay attention to this? Well, I mean, they might have, but we'll, we'll show them, you know, give a quick scan over so they come back and check it out. Uh, we had a ton of fun building these. Jade helped a whole lot, so. Helped a whole lot? I did most of it. Sure, let's go with that. But I'll tell you what, guys. Um... I have no idea how long this video is. We're not fast forwarding much because I wanted it to be in real time so you can see what it took to make them. And uh, if you suffered all the way through to the end with us, thank you so much for sticking around and spending a little time with me and my daughter. I'm thanking them. It's polite. No, you said that I didn't do Charlotte <laughs> say that. No. Jane I did a solid 50% of the work. You did, you did a solid 5%. Yeah. Jade built all these stumps. It's amazing. There's absolutely no... The stumps no... doesn't count for the rose! No, I was talking about... No, I said you helped with the stumps. Is that what you're up about? You didn't listen to the whole sentence. You helped with the stumps! <laughs> I have selective hearing. Yes, you do. So... Now that we've got that sorted out, I want to thank you guys for uh, hanging out with us. We have had an absolute blast filming this. has probably been one of the most fun videos we've done. And the easiest. And, and Follow it's... alone. This is a fun project. This is one everybody can handle. You could cut these out with a grinder and a zip cut and just shape them up. You don't need to see and see them like I do. Um, you guys can make this. Maybe. We'll see. We'll talk about that later. Um, but yeah, if you haven't yet, subscribe to the channel, like the video, drop a comment, do the whole YouTube thing. You know, she tells me that she's heard me say this probably a hundred times. I don't know how many videos I've posted, but she's probably right. Sometimes well, five or six. Well, how many times do we retake that outro? Yeah, sometimes we retake it quite a bit. This time you're getting one shot because 
this is as raw as it gets. So uh, thank you guys. Um, in a week or so, I'll have the video up the other stump. I've got some cool stuff coming up. And uh, in a future video, I'll make sure to put a clip of some of the finished projects from our classes because this should be pretty cool. Much see what the kids come up with, what you help teach. I know. If they fail, it's all on you. If they fail, it's on you. So thank you very much, guys. I hope you have an amazing day, night, morning, whatever it is, wherever you are. And uh, we're out of here. Bye. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.